here and yes, I'm chewing bubble gum right now. Hope you don't mind. So today we're going to talk about the dreaded spirit riding free. All of you like OG spirit lovers are just like shuddering in fear about what is to come on Netflix and like, when is it even coming out? I don't even know. So basically, spirit is like being put in a stable by this 12 year old girl like what like is he actually gonna be put in a stable or is that just some weird prototype stable thing that we saw at toy fair no he's being ridden by this obviously experienced rider let's take a look at this picture oh my god her egg is like close to barbie egg standards like it's that bad do you see those toes down that's horrible that's just terrible. And her arms are up in the air like, woo. In Spirit's mane, let's just not go there, okay? Like everyone is super upset about the blaze thing that he has on his face. Like, okay, like they could have done worse. They could have made him into a bay. Oh wait. One thing I have to cover that I don't think I've seen anyone else cover, I'm not really sure. The horses, they look like Barbies, yo. Like the um the new Briar horses at Toy Fair. Like they look like freaking Barbies. So my theory is that Briar's going for a different audience with this um spirit toy thing. So basically what we saw at Toy Fair were these Barbie looking things with terrible no hair. Like, have you seen that? I'm hoping that those are just like prototypes and the people who made them didn't even care. They were just wanting to put it out for Toy Fair and they're gonna fix it later. Hopefully, like, geez, that's awful. So I think the audience that Bar is going for with these new Barbie horses are, so just imagine this. This girl, just scrolling through Netflix one day, this is around the time it'll come out or something, just scrolling through Netflix, finds the Spirit Riding Free Show. Oh wow, horses are pretty cool. I guess I should watch this gets like hooked on the show if it's good or whatever and so she'll like find this merchandise and she probably won't even know what bars are i don't know it's just guess like just some normal girl who collects barbies yes barbies are very mainstream like a lot of little girls collect them okay so suppose this little girl collects barbies but like has no idea what bars are finds these briar products oh wow those horses look kind of like barbie horses hmm Wow, I should buy those. And then cha-ching, Briar's got more people in the community and like they find these traditionals, they get obsessed and then that's how it all starts for them because they like Barbie. So that that is their new audience. I think they're going for with the spirit thing. They're trying to get more people in, you know. And yeah, that is an idea of mine. I don't really know, it's just kind of a thing that could happen, I guess. Let's talk about the new traditional models. Now there's three so far. There's Spirit, there's Chicka Linda, and then there's Boomerang. So is it just me? I'm kind of getting a vintage Briar vibe. Like their shading is very vintage. Like the Spirit looks like the Spirit I have here. Let me go get him. So here is the original Spirit 2002 model. So he's from 2002. Basically, his shading looks the same. I love how they use the same mold, that's really cool. So his shading looks the same, except they airbrushed on a blaze. So that's where I get into here. Okay, so they used an airbrush for the blaze. Nowadays, they just paint it on. But back then, they used airbrush for like everything. They used it for the shading, for the socks they used airbrush. They still do that for classics, I think. But um, for example, so his socks are airbrushed on. See, they're not crisp or anything. They're just airbrushed right on. So yeah, that's an example for a vintage model. And then rain looks the same. Well, not it's not rain. It's like Chickalinda or something. Um, the Chica Lindo model doesn't really look like her in my opinion. I get it, like they want to reuse a uh, rain mold and spirit mold because you know, original stuff. Like, I think it's pretty cool. She looks kind of sassy. I think she's gonna be a sassy character or something. Um, so yeah, and then Boomerang, like everyone's saying, oh my God, he's so cute. And yeah, he really is. So, um, is that a new mold? I think it's a new mold, I'm pretty sure. And they have blind bags, guys. Like, oh, I'm obsessed with blind bags. I love Briar blind bags so much. And um, I think 
I saw somewhere that all of the horses and the blind bags are actually gonna be on the show, so that's pretty cool. I'm really excited for that. Now let's talk about the human characters for a second. What's her name again? Abby? Starts with an, oh, Abigail, Abigail, okay. This girl, Abigail, she straight up looks like me when I was eight years old, not joking, okay? She straight up looks like me as eight. Just gonna put that out there, yeah. So yeah, that's Abigail, I don't know, she just looks like me. And then Prudence, Prue person, I don't know. She gives me an Elma vibe from Horace Land. Just like, I don't know, her hair and skin color looks the same. She just looks the same, I feel like. And then Lucky, I mean, oh, she's kind of basic, honestly. Lucky, or 12 year old girl, you know, whatever. Um, uh, she obviously hasn't ridden a horse before, just her egg is horrid. Her parents must be terrible. They're letting her ride this wild Mustang. Just like, where are your parents, woman? Like, where the heck are they? Can we just take a moment to freaking admire the latest episode of Star vs. Force of Evil? I don't know why I haven't talked to this about... Uh, it was so good. I can't even speak right now. Oh my god. I can't believe I haven't talked about this on my channel, like Star Wars Force of Evil, because I've liked it even before Miraculous Ladybug. Like, why? I hope you guys watch that show so you understand me. Oh my god. Uh, it's so sad. She just runs away, and then Marco's just like put in the worst situation, and Jackie's just like, bye, my little sodas. 